In this movie, I'll introduce you to a few top secret scrolling tricks that are not only exceedingly useful, but are generally unknown to most Photoshop users. So let's say I zoom this guy to 100% by pressing Control-1 or Command-1 on the Mac. As usual, Photoshop goes ahead and centers my zoom, and so as a result, I'm seeing part of this guy's jacket, which isn't really the most compelling detail in this photograph. Well, turns out I can scroll to a completely different location very quickly using a feature known as the bird's eye view. And to get a sense for how it works, I'll go ahead and hover over the hand tool down here at the bottom of the toolbox. And you can see in that tooltip there that the hand has a keyboard shortcut of H. And the only time that really comes in useful is when taking advantage of the bird's eye view. So notice if I press and hold the H key, I'll get the hand tool on the fly and then I can click and hold while I have that key down and move this rectangle to a different location. And then as soon as I release, I will scroll immediately to that detail. And then if I want to scroll elsewhere, just keep that H key down and drag to a different location like so. And so there we have his shoulder. I could scroll down to his hand if I want to and so forth. And so as long as I have the H key down, I can click and hold and drag the bird's eye view to any location I like. And then as soon as I'm done taking advantage of this feature, all I need to do is release the H key in order to return to the previously selected tool, which in my case is the rectangular marquee. Another option is to scroll multiple images at the same time. And so I'll just go ahead and zoom out a little bit here to 50%, let's say. And notice that I have another image open happens to be the same model in a different setting. And so let's say I want to see both of these images at the same time. I'll go up to the window menu, choose a range, and then choose two up vertical. And that's going to go ahead and keep the active image on the left-hand side and then show the inactive image on the right-hand side. If I want to scroll this guy over here on the right, I just click inside this image to make it active, then press and hold the space bar in order to get to the hand tool and scroll this guy as desired. But let's say I want to scroll both of these images at the same time, then here inside the active image, which is now the one on the right, I'll press and hold both the space bar and the shift key. That's going to allow me to scroll all the active images to the same degree. And that's going to happen whether you're seeing the images or not. You're going to scroll even images that you're not seeing as long as they are open inside Photoshop. Now, the last feature is something known as overscroll. And to demonstrate how that works, I'll go ahead and click inside the left-hand image. Then I'll go up to the window menu, choose a range, and choose consolidate all to tabs so that the businessman image is hidden. And now I'll press Control-0 or Command-0 on the Mac in order to fit the image on screen. Now notice if I press and hold the space bar, I get the hand tool just as usual. But if I try to drag the image, it refuses to move. And that's because we're already seeing all of it on screen. If you would like a little more flexibility, here's what you do. Go up to the Edit menu. This would be the Photoshop menu on the Mac. Drop all the way down to the very bottom here to the Preferences command, which is much higher in the menu on the Mac. And then choose the Tools command from the submenu. Then you want to go ahead and turn on this checkbox right here, Overscroll, after which point you can click OK. And now notice if I spacebar drag the image, I can move it as much as I like, even when it's already fit on screen. And that's how you take advantage of a few top secret scrolling tricks that are not only very useful, but are guaranteed to amaze your friends as well.